first thing you need to do to run Cypress on your machine is install it, and we're going to use Node Package Manager. Go to your in project and install Node Package Manager with npm init in the project. After you do that, you should see a package JSON file. Inside the package JSON file, we're going to add in two dependencies. This tells Node Package Manager, hey, I want to install these on my machine. You'll install Cypress and Sauce CTL. As a note, you'll want to make sure that your versions match up. You want to check Cypress and look in your config YAML file and say, hey, which version of Cypress am I running? And just as important, you want to make sure you're installing the most updated version of Sauce CTL. Later on, if you need to go update, you can use the same process to update the version. Once you've updated package JSON, you can simply run the command npm install, and it will install those versions of Cypress and Sauce CTL for you. Now we're ready to run our test on Sauce Labs and take a look at debugging. It's a good practice before you run it online to pick out any errors that might be the result of your local tests and not the result of trying to run it on a cloud service. Now all you need to do is run the command npx cypress open, and Cypress will start running on your local machine. When it opens, you'll see the Cypress client with your tests listed. Click on login spec JS to run the test. You should see a browser pop up with your tests in there. You can see here that I have a minor typo or error, so I can go into that test and change that. The nice thing about using the Cypress client to debug is that it updates in real time. There's no lag between sending messages to the browser and receiving them. I noticed that my project structure isn't completely correct, and that may have had to do with reinstalling a version of Cypress. I need to make sure that my support, integrations, or tests, and page object folders are all within the Cypress folder. Once I have everything in the correct place, the test will start running successfully.